Gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, marching in her own parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan, Pepper Ann. Cool. Catch her if you ring. can, Pepper Ann. Sign, kid. No eating chowder in the store. But I'm just holding the chowder. The bread bowl is a container. Look, it even has a lid. Ouch! No! The Celine standee! Oh, Nebulous Frittata is holding a contest to design their new album cover. Milo, your art rocks! Milo, Nebulous Frittata rocks! Milo, together you and the band would rock so hard, and you'd probably get some cool free stuff. Free stuff rocks! Let's go. The movie starts in ten minutes. I know, plenty of time, but do not forget the nacho wait. Very long wait. Milo, this contest could give your art a large audience. Much larger than the school bulletin board. Guys, we'll discuss en route. Your art could wind up in one of those eight CDs for a penny ads and fuzzy comics. You've got a talent to share. You have to do it. Unentered, happy now? The movie is Shalala Doomsday. You guys agreed to go. Nachos are on you, etc. Let's jam. <gasps> that movie looks Shalala cruddy. Guys, por favor, a little faith. It's not gonna be cruddy. Okay, it was cruddy, but it was a Cameron Landisberg film. The man deserves the benefit of the doubt. Cameron Landisberg, the man responsible for the Penguin Master. Today we rumba, tomorrow we die, and and Leg Breaker parts one, two, and four. He's in a dry spell. If anyone can make a comeback, the Landy Man can. His first film, Moonriser, was a work of art. Milo, sometimes I really question your taste. Say goodnight, Mama. Kamalani wins. One more game. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I stapled a sock to a piece of cardboard. I don't care if I won your stupid contest. I sent you anti-art, a paper and fabric abomination. What? This is the studio I won? Not too shabby, eh, Milo? Six months of chaperone studio space, free art supplies, nebulous frittatas, entire catalog. Entering that contest wasn't such a bad idea after all, huh? Huh? Thank you, PA. No more stupid sock stapling. I can do real art here. Painting, sculpting, welding, glass blowing. Are you, like, um, Milo? <laughs> because I'm here to interview you about winning the Nebulous Frittata Contest. Supermodel Mindy. Did I... did I win you too? No, silly. Not unless you're the winner of the win Supermodel Mindy sweepstakes. <laughs> you're not, are you? Tell me that you're not. What's that sound? It's Bell Bottoms, and they're back with a vengeance. Yeah. Tell me you're not watching Supermodel Mindy's Cabana of Fashion. Milo, we want to see your interview. Why? I told you how it went. I was like a really dorky deer caught in headlights. Oh, oh, it's on! Why are artists so cool? I don't know, but I met an artist named Milo K today. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, so, my fourth toe is longer than all of my others. So, I'd like to thank Milo K for sharing with us his amazing passion for his... A R T R oh, Art. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Stay fashion able. Milo, that went great. Yeah. It's like a visceral poem of noise. It's a bouquet of passion and tomatoes. Bravo! Nay, bravissimo! Psst, you guys. 
Is it just me, or are people acting really weird? Milo, you were on TV. So? TV can pervade our psyches. What's on TV can become more real to us, better to us, for no other reason than it flickered across the glowing box in the living room. <sighs> Dr. Fizzy Sody, refreshing and satisfying. What were you guys talking about? Tifty Reginald, curator, Hazelnut's own gallery of art. Tell me you have more ketchup paintings and sock pieces. Oh, and please, 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 tell me you'll do a show for us. So I figured, if they want to do a gallery show of my fry plates and socks, well, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Not a great thing, but a good thing. But doesn't the show make a mockery of all the art you actually put your heart into? Well, when you put it like that... Mockery, schmockery! That Tifty guy said there'd be free fried ravioli. Let's go! <gasps> Your work has changed the way I look at ketchup. Sign my sock! Oh, I love that I could care less look! Oh, geez, the reason I want to <laughs> Hello there, Milo. I'm Cameron Landisberg. <laughs> The writer director of Moonriser. I love your work. Oh, 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 I love your art. These paintings and sculptures are really fabulous. They're junk. <laughs> oh, yes. How we punish ourselves over our art. Never quite good enough, is it? Uh, still, I'm interested in purchasing a few. Now, I realize that it might be difficult to part with. You've got Spunk Milo. Listen, I'm going on the show Famous People on the Issues tomorrow night. Gatty Griffin canceled, so a chair is open. Would you care to join? Milo, thanks for letting me be a hanger-on. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you're out of pizza bagels. Wait a merry heart minute. You're Milo Kamalani? That's right. No, 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 I was told you were a young, bold, freaky-looking artist. Not some beanie mall rat. Ah, sorry, kid. I better call in Dr. Joyce Brothers. <sighs> She's always available. This beanie mall rat you speak of, that... That's not me. I just, I haven't changed yet. Yeah, I mean, my hair is usually white, and I have yellow glasses, and I was going to wear a shirt made out of popsicle sticks. Oh, okay. See you on the set. Milo, what are you doing? You just sold yourself out for a shot on a cheeky political round table. Nikki, you're looking at the micro view. Go macro with me. I get on TV. I get my art and my message out to the masses. Well, have you even been doing any art since you won that contest? No, have you? Uh. Meanwhile, the people on the other side are saying, Oh, it's fine, don't worry. Well, I, for one, would pay to worry. How about you, Milo? Uh, you ever notice um, that people never sneeze on roller coasters? <laughs> <laughs> Milo, you can. <laughs> that Milo put him in his place. I smell series. Milo rocks. This year marks the 25th anniversary of Moonriser. There's to be a huge gala party next week. I read in Dish last week that Kirstie Alley had a mermaid at her 40th birthday party. Could you go watch the TV very closely? Sure, Landy. I'd like to commission one of your huge ketchup paintings for the gala party. And I want you to be there. You want me to go to the Moonriser 25th anniversary party? Absolutely. Just as long as that girl doesn't come within one mile of the red carpet. Thanks, Milo. I can't believe we're going to the gala anniversary party for Moon Skyser. Riser, PA. Moon Riser. Oh, I guess I should see it before we go, huh? Um, we can go if you stay home. Landisburg just invited me. That's cool. You'll have a good time. I've, uh, gotta go pretend to sleep. By the light of Kylaxis, I know now. Alas, I guess I've always known. This planet, it's alive. Milo, I'm going to tell you a secret about being an artist. Rule number one and only. If it sells, it's art. Everything else is just dabble-dabble. That is art. Can I have that? I'll even buy it. Sorry, kid. Art can't be bought. You see it. You feel it. It's in the air. It, it, it's... It... <laughs> okay, all right. You don't have to cry about it. Here. Milo, we have a lavish party to attend. What's the matter? Everything. 
Everything, indeed. But the painting isn't an entire loss. Perhaps his mummy will hang it on the fridge. No, I'm, I'm talking about me, Landy. I'm talking about art. I sold out. This is real. I'm the foamy. I thought I would get back to doing my real art, to being the real me. But, man, when you lose yourself, it, it isn't that simple to get yourself back. Right now, I have that chance. I'm outie. I mean, I sell gyros on the street. I just get the feeling that I don't belong here. You're right. You don't. What do get you out. think Milo's doing right now? I was thinking of buying my friend some fish stick pizza and telling him I'm sorry for being a jerk. Milo, you gave up the perks of famousness for us? And for me. And my art. And let me show you chatty heads the door. No talking in the theater! Irv, I have a story to tell you. Story of a bright-eyed film school graduate that poured his heart into a film called Moonriser. Go on. Oh, it was a success, and a young man was besieged by interviewers, by hangers-on, by perks up plenty. But somewhere along the way, he forgot what's important. The films, not the perks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But something's happened to me, Irv. Something wonderful. I've returned to my roots. I am not doing that half-baked Moonriser prequel. I will not compromise my greatest film, even for the hundreds of millions of dollars that we would surely reap. <laughs> Get out of here! Almost had you, Irv. <laughs> I'll see you at the dailies.